Hello everybody. So today I wanted to show you how you can either install or you can uninstall the print management console where you can go in there and you can edit printers and you can also install or uninstall print drivers that are installed on your Windows 11 computer. So I wanted to show you how you can know if the print management console is installed on your computer and if it's not how you can go in there and you can get it installed if you want to have it. And then if you do have it installed, I'm going to show you how you can uninstall it if you don't want to have it anymore. And then of course, I'll also show you what it looks like and how you can go in there and you can either delete printers or you can delete printer drivers if you don't need them. So let's go over to the Windows 11 computer now and I'm going to show you all those steps. Okay. So as you can see, I have my Windows 11 computer booted up to the desktop and we're ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the start button right down here and I'm going to type in print. Now, when you type in print, it may show you print management. If it doesn't, you can put a space and put management. And if you still don't see print management showing up, it's most likely not installed on the computer. Now, how can we check to see if print management is actually installed on the computer? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take out print management and I'm gonna type optional features. And if you'll see right here, the very first one is the optional features under the system settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and it's going to open up my settings and go directly to the optional features for Windows 11. Now, if you'll notice, there's a search added features right here. So if I click on it and I start typing in print, it didn't find a feature that had print in the name. So most likely, this Windows 11 computer does not have the print management console installed. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and click the X so you can see all the added features that are currently installed. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click view features up here beside the add and optional feature. So I'm going to go ahead and click view features. And here I'm going to start typing in print. Now, as you'll notice, print management is the very first one that shows up. So I can go ahead and put a check beside this and click on next. Now here it says add an optional feature. Here's what will be added. And it's going to put the print management onto this computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click add. Now I did want to also let you all know that this will only work with Windows 11 Professional, Windows 11 Enterprise, and also Windows 11 Educational. It won't work with the Windows 11 Home Edition. Unfortunately, they didn't make the print management available by default from Microsoft with the Windows 11 Home. Now, I think there is a way to add it after the fact, but there's not a way from Microsoft to add it directly in the software. You have to go and you have to download it probably from somebody at GitHub. And if that's something that interests you all and you would like to add the print management to Windows 11 Home, let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to make that video for you. But we're going to give that just a second to finish adding the print management. And as soon as it's installed, I'm going to show you what it looks like. And then I'm also going to show you how you can remove it if you don't want to have it on your Windows 11 Professional, Windows 11 Educational, or Windows 11 Enterprise version. I'll show you how to take that off of that Windows. So let's give that just a moment and I'll be right back. Okay. So as you can see, the print management feature was just added. And if I scroll down, you'll notice print management shows up right here and it's only 2.45 megabytes. So now if I click on the start button and I type in print, 
and then I put a space and I put management, now the print management is available. And you can either open it or you can run it as an administrator, depending on whether you want to see the printers for everybody or just yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and just open it so I can see the printers that I have available for my user. So right here, if I click on all printers, you'll see that I have one printer that's currently installed. And it's just the Microsoft Print to PDF. And if I click on the drivers, you can see that I have a Microsoft Enhanced Point and Print Compatibility Driver. And that was from Windows X64. And I also have a Microsoft Enhanced Point and Print Compatibility Driver. And that one was from Windows NT X86. And then I also have the Microsoft Print to PDF then that's a Windows X64 printer driver. So you can even go in here and you can delete one if you don't want it. Say I could remove that driver package just by right clicking on the printer driver and then you click remove driver package. But I don't really want to remove any of those, but you could. And that's how easy the print management console makes it. Now, what if you wanted to remove this console so that nobody could go in there and start making changes to the printer drivers or the printers that were installed? Well, that's easy too. We're just going to go ahead and close this print management console. And then we're going to go back over here to the settings. Now, if you happen to close your settings, that's okay. I'll go ahead and show you what you can do. If you go down here to the start button and you click on it, and you type in optional features and then you click on optional features right here it'll open it back up so that you can see the print management and we can remove it so once it opens you just want to scroll down on it a little bit and there's the print management and now we're going to click the little arrow and we're going to click remove now that'll take just a moment to remove it and then it'll be gone for good. And it's already gone. It removed it that quick. Now, I did want to show you two other things that you can do. You can actually install that print management with PowerShell. And you can also uninstall it with PowerShell. So, I'm going to go ahead and close the settings right here. And I'm going to click on the start button. And I'm going to type in PowerShell. And then I'm going to open up the PowerShell, but I'm going to run it as administrator. And if you get this prompt, go ahead and click yes to allow the PowerShell to make changes to your device. Now here, we want to type in this one command, and this will install the print management console in Windows 11 as long as you're running the professional, enterprise, or educational version. You want to type in D-I-S-M, and that's all uppercase, and then you want to put a space, and then a forward slash online, and then a space, and you want to put forward slash add dash capability, and then you want to put a space and you want to put a slash and you want to put capability name. And then you want to put a colon and you want to put print period management period console. And you want to press enter. Now there, it's going through, and it's finding the print management console, and it's adding that capability to the computer. Now, we just removed it a moment ago, so now, when we install it with this, it should show back up in the start menu so that we can open it again. So let's give that just a moment to finish, and I'll show you that it opens, and then I'll even show you how to remove it with the PowerShell if you want to. So maybe you could write a script and you could remove it from a bunch of different computers if you wanted to. So let's give that just a moment to finish.
Okay, so we just finished installing the print management console. So now if I click back on the start button and I type in print space management, you'll see that it's actually back on the computer again. And so if I click on it, just so you can see it opens, there it is. And I can see all the printers, all the drivers. I can even see the printers that are not ready and the printers with jobs. So I can see everything with that print management console. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close it. And I wanted to show you how you could remove it with PowerShell from the computer if you wanted to use it with the script. So here in the PowerShell, and we still have it pulled up as the administrator, we're going to type in DISM, and then we're going to put a space, and then we're going to put a forward slash and type online, and then a space, and we're going to type a forward slash, and we're going to type get dash capabilities and press enter now that is going to give you quite a lengthy list but if you will scroll up and it's in alphabetical order and if you'll scroll up and look for the p's you should see the print management right here now there is another command that you can put in that will remove it but most of the time, it won't have this extra little part right here if you were to look it up online. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you go in here and just use your mouse and highlight this portion right here so that all of that is selected, whether it's a bunch of tildes in 0 .0 0.0.1.0 or it's something else. But you're going to go ahead and highlight it and then you're gonna press Control and C on your keyboard, and that's gonna copy it. Now we're gonna go back down to the bottom where we're at the prompt, and right here we're gonna type in the command which will actually remove the print management console from the computer. So what you wanna type in is DISM, and then a space, forward slash, online, space, forward slash remove dash capability space forward slash capability name and then a colon and then you're going to press control and v and that's going to paste it right in and then you're going to press enter now there you go it's removing it from your computer. But if it didn't have that extra little part right there, which most of them that you will find online do not, it will not remove it because it doesn't know what print.management.console is. It only knows print.management.console and then a bunch of tildes and then a 0.0.1.0. .0 and so that's why we had to run the other command which was the dism forward slash online and then forward slash get dash capabilities that's why we had to run that one so we can make sure we got the exact name but now if you'll notice it should be gone so if i click on start and i type in print space management now it doesn't show up anymore. Yes, you can get search results, but you can't open the print management console because it's gone from the computer. So that's how you would get rid of the print management console if you wanted to do it in PowerShell. So I hope that was helpful on how you can install or uninstall the print management console in Windows 11. Now, if you do have any questions about this, or maybe you just need me to go into more depth about it, please let me know down below in the comments, and I will do my best to get back to you. And if there's a video, topic, article, anything you'd like me to make a video on, please let me know that down below in the comments as well, and I will do my best to create that video for you. 
And if you found this helpful and you'd like to support this channel, I left a link in the video description where you can buy me a cup of coffee if you'd like to. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like how do I install and uninstall the print management console in Windows 11. And I'll be more than happy to keep putting up all this great content for you all. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.